a lot of people have been having some optimization issues with Withering Waves, which I will say, I said there was probably going to be some server issues and some issues with the game. That's just, that's just what reality is like. <laughs> But I did want to show you um, how people are responding to this because I personally am very happy because Crow went ahead and announced that they're going to be giving us 10 extra wishes today, I believe in about five minutes at the time of recording, to compensate for the issues that people are having, which I think is very, very nice and very generous. It's obvious that they're listening because the game came out less than 12 hours ago and or less than 24 hours ago, and they're already listening to prep. Pro problems from players there's also already been a hot fix with fish which fixed most of my optimization like most of my ping issues were fixed just by the hot fix alone i'm sitting here thinking like man it's so nice they're also giving this opt compensation to people who reach union level two by july to me very generous shows that they care i said though i haven't had any optimization issues i'm very glad to know y'all are listening to the community and care and i said genshin could never because realistically the reality of this situation is that Genshin also launched with issues. People were falling through the map. I remember there was a ton of issues when Genshin launched. Most games, when they launch, especially nowadays, have optimization issues because trying to develop a game to work perfectly on so many types of software, especially games where they're also going to be on mobile, is like impossible, even with beta tests. But yeah, there were constant problems. And so I just, I, I, was, I was trying to praise my company. I'm happy with it. Instantly, within a minute, somebody says, Genshin could never because Hoyo didn't launch games this bad. They literally could never because they never had to. I would say personally that Genshin still has optimization issues. I cannot run on my PC Genshin Impact on high quality settings and be able to stream it. I would not be able to stream it. I still have optimization issues in Genshin where I'm currently running Curl on max settings visually and perfectly fine on stream not really having any issues. But even then, Genshin is like massively unoptimized because of the amount of space that it takes up on your PC. There's no reason it should be, what is it? 80 gigabytes or something like that? There's no reason it should be that big. And there's already so much fighting over this on Twitter. And somebody said 1.0 of Genshin 100% had issues that they had to fix and or compensate for. They weren't necessarily the exact same issues as Wuwa, and I can agree on that front. But if you're implying Genshin never had to do any heavy bud bug fixes at launch. That's just wrong. And somebody said, can you name any? Didn't have as many technical issues or translation issues as this game. English dub was top tier too. The English dub at the beginning of Genshin Impact, I highly recommend y'all go listen to it again. Was it as bad as Kuro? I'll say honestly, personally, no. The English dub is not very good for, for Withering Waves right now. However, the English dub for Genshin was not top tier. It was just better than not good. Okay, but as, as far as technical and translation issues, Genshin has always had those and continues to and have them much more at launch. For Genshin, most of the air issues were miscellaneous. There are a few technical issues for mobile players, a couple translation issues, etc. So there were issues. The only huge issue with Genshin at launch was big issues relating to accounts and account information, which seems pretty important. And then Genshin didn't have optimization issues. The amount of copium in these comments are actually crazy. Genshin didn't have optimization issues. Genshin still to this day in the year of our Lord 2024 has optimization issues. On what planet? <laughs> there were many issues, many, many issues with Genshin at launch. But again, what game has released in the last like two years that is a server held game, right? That isn't just something that you download and play on your PC. That's like a live update game that is released with no issues or without some amount of glitchiness and bugginess. Basically every single one. It's extremely common because there are so many kinds of hardware to optimize for. It's not real. It, that's not real, this concept that any game released is without issues. And this is why people were saying I was doom posting when I said we should lower our expectations for the game because if we overhype it and expect perfection, this is exactly what's gonna happen. And people said I was doom posting for that. Every game has launch issues. And honestly, I would say this game has less launch issues, at least on from myself and most of the people that I've talked to, like personally, has significantly lower issues on launch than most games that I've played recently. You guys remember Diablo? Jesus Christ, that one was so bad. 
Can't this game do anything without Genshin being mentioned? Absolutely not! Absolutely not! Because I literally can't even stream without people coming in and bitching about Genshin. It's constant. Everybody is doing it. It's not just us being Genshin could never. Motherfuckers are coming into streams and pouring out through Twitter to say, Oh, Kuro Games is bad! Wuthering Waves is bad! Absolutely yes, there needs to be a community war. It's gonna happen regardless. And the reality is, is that Genshin is way less on top of doing hot fixes and stuff for optimization issues like this, and absolutely would not be so quick to compensate for those issues. That's actually insane. There's so many people trying to just, just dogpile on Wuthering Waves not being absolutely pristine and perfect on launch. It is kind of mystifying, to be honest with you, because I feel like the game is really, really good. They're looking for any reason to call it a failure? Absolutely. Genshin is dead. Genshin could never fuck up the launch day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that people have screenshots of this shit. I remember this. Yeah, this is what we call a perfect launch day. For sure, keep reaching, little pup. These things absolutely happened. My thing is, is it's not even so much like a, a, a Kuro v Genshin thing. For me, my problem is like they're using it as ammo. I told you guys. I told you guys that the second there was anything imperfect about Wuwa, they were going to point at it and go, Genshin would never do this to us. Gluck, gluck. Hoyo's so perfect. Gluck, gluck. Kuro's so dog shit. They're just the worst. It's never going to be real competition. Gluck, 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 gluck. I told y'all. I made a whole video saying that this shit was going to happen and to not fall into this trap. This is a good game. Are there issues? Absolutely. And I will be making a video to discuss that more. But my God, is the like Hoyo cuckery so intense. Most people are just happy that it's a good game. But I guess the point of this is like the Hoyo cucks are shitting their pants and throwing up and pissing everywhere. Trying to find the way that this is not a problem for their game. It also proves so much that when people complain about issues and make clear their criticisms, Things change if the company gives a shit. If the company cares, things will change. And so it, it so proves everything people have been saying for years regarding Genshin and Hoyoverse. Because the reality is, is like, absolutely, they could try their best to fix things. And they could compensate you when things don't work. And they could do a million other things. But they don't. But Kuro is obviously caring. I'm amazed I can speak that well with all that Hoyo in their mouth. Yeah, it's kind of shocking. How do you speak with so much Hoyo dick inside your throat? It's wild. But there was no way this game was going to launch perfectly because basically no game launches perfectly. Even single player story games like FNAF, Elden Ring didn't launch perfectly. Elden Ring's known to be like one of the best games ever. I think Elden Ring was game of the year the year it came out. But it's also a fucking masterpiece. Elden Ring was full of bugginess and is still known and understood to be an incredibly well-made, perfected game. They just had to fix the issues. No game comes out perfectly optimized anymore. That's just not a thing. There's too many systems, there's too many parts, there's too many combinations and variations. And like, it's just so crazy how hard the Hoyo cucks are like scrambling like, no, the game's shit, I swear, no, 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 really, I don't want my illusion bursted. I, I don't wanna be aware of the fact that the game is dog shit. And no, it's bad, it's still bad. It's literally just a Genshin Gloat, it really is. When the reality is, is that I think a lot of people playing, and you guys can let me know if you agree on this in the YouTube comments and in Twitch chat. You guys can let me know if you agree. The more I play this game, the less I feel the similarities to Genshin. The only similarity ultimately is the, the genre of being an RPG in an open world. Otherwise, the similarities to Genshin are base level at most. But people are so determined to discover that this game is shit. So determined. It is so hilarious to me when this game is, is objectively fucking really good. It is absolutely just blowing my mind the level to which people are scrambling to continue to believe that Genshin Impact is a good game, especially compared to this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There are obviously issues with the game. I'm going to be making a video outlining that after I get to level 10. I am currently at level eight. I just got level eight. So I'm working on it. I'm doing some story right now. 
But let me know what you guys think. Are you having optimization issues? And are you having them on mobile or PC? And like, how good of a phone do you have? How good of a PC do you have? Because I'm really, really curious about how that's working. Because it seems very like spotty. Not everyone across the board is having issues. I am currently streaming daily at 10 a.m. PST, by the way, on twitch.tv forward slash hex underscore juice. We are having a lovely time learning about this game together. I'm sort of going through the story pretty slowly because I'd rather hang out and explore and let people go through the story and not have to get spoiled. So come hang out with us over here. I will see you guys later. Boo-bye!